here and I'm doing my uh, car review on the 2018 Mercedes CLA 250 uh, which you'll see it's right behind me here and uh, it's uh, the lower entry level car that Mercedes has let out uh, it's their sport coupe and while this car passes I will continue um, it comes with a lot of great benefits and features which I'll go over everything from the engine uh, the interior features and uh, so yeah so go ahead and follow me over here we have a 2 liter turbo uh, with the front wheel drivetrain on this car um, really great power gets you about just over 200 horsepower and a little over 250 pound-feet of torque a uh, very nice zippy ride uh, very smooth All right, guys, step on inside and let's go over some of the interior features we have over here. Uh, we have all of the different buttons on the steering wheel. You can handle phone calls, adjust the volume for your music. There's also a whole uh, odometer uh, menu that you can scroll through that tells you everything from your tire pressure. Um, it'll go over everything, tell you your mileage on the car. Um, it'll tell you the miles per hour, your average mile miles per gallon um, you have your eco mode displays tells you how much you're saving um, your mileage until your gas tank is empty and it also has a whole lot of uh, other menus you can connect your navigation to this uh, your music your telephone so essentially under this menu, you have your ESP, uh, which is your traction control essentially. So if you turn it on sport mode, um, I, it'll go ahead and turn that off. It has its brake assist, um, you know, blind spot checker, all of that over here. And then there's also any service, which you can, it's cool, you can check out your tire pressures. And uh, once the car is on, it'll go ahead and tell you that. And uh, these are all the menus we have on the inside. And here we want to look at our control module right here, which here you can change your music. Um, you have your back button, your key button, and a, and a scrolling right here that you can move to go up, down, side to side, as well as turning to select anything on the screen that comes over here. And essentially you can go over your consumption, um, the dynamic select, which you can change just at a push of a button, your dynamic select here. There's four different models, uh, modes on it. You have your, uh, basically your comfort, which is what it naturally is on when you turn the car on. And then you have uh, your sport and you have an individual, uh, which here, I'll go ahead and turn on the car for you guys. So we got the eco sport, uh, comfort, and also independent which is you get to choose the steering uh, response, the throttle response, uh, so it makes it have a much sportier feel. Um, another cool thing about this are the vehicle settings. Uh, under the vehicle settings, you can turn on your interior lighting. Um, you have your welcome lights on, uh, the ambient light, which is cool, uh, comes in many different colors. So you have your color wheel and you can essentially change the color um, to whatever you'd like. So for right now, let's go ahead and do it. I like the vibrant green, so I'll go ahead and select that. So all the ambient lighting interior will be the that color. Um, and essentially here, you can go ahead and let's look at here. You can connect your phone via Bluetooth. A nice feature of this car is that USB port right here, which my pinky is right next to it, has the phone emblem next to it. If you plug your iPhone here, it does have the iPhone play, which uh, it'll go ahead and shoot up your phone screen onto your screen here. You can stream your navigation and your music, your phone calls, and you can even do voice text messages. So I can reply to my text message and, and everything via uh, voice. And you also have radio uh, XM, uh, Sirius, satellite radio, and other features like that here. So really cool. Um, this card also does come with seat heaters. Um, it does come with three different modes and it gets hot real quick. Uh, really helps me on those early mornings. Uh, make sure it keeps your butt and your lower back nice and cool. 
Um, you do have the dual climate control. Uh, that way your passenger and the driver can have uh, different temperatures if they liked. And um, yeah, these are the overall uh, interior uh, settings of the car that I wanted to go over. Uh, now we'll go ahead and uh, we'll take the car for a short spin. Uh, we could check out the road noise from inside the car and the acceleration. Also, I did want to go ahead and show you guys uh, the rear view camera on this car. I really like it because it has two different mode settings. This is the first view. The second view is right here. Kind of gives a fish eye kind of view, which kind of lets you see your peripherals a little bit better. Great feature on this car. Um, so we'll go ahead and switch back here. It does have the lines that they do change as you move your steering wheel. That way, if you're trying to parallel park or you know do anything like that, it'll go ahead and show you your path. So we'll go ahead and uh, take it out on the street so we can give you a, a quick show of the acceleration. All right, we're gonna give it another go right here. Do a quick acceleration run from a standstill. And this is kind of uphill too right now. Ready and go. Okay. Just missed that Corvette. All right, guys, it's a perfect uh, 69 degrees outside. About to do another zero to 60 run. And it should, as soon as this light turns green. Three, two, and has very good brakes as well. Great ABS right there. <laughs> So uh, I did just want to do a quick walk around of the car and I have been driving this car for about a year and a half now So I did want to kind of just give you my honest opinion on it as well um, So here we have the 17 inch alloy rims um, These would come with the stock with the car um, You can look at the aggressive lines on the side of the car um, Mercedes is a, did a great job designing this making it a very aggressive coupe design um, I did read that it did have a 0.9 G drag coefficient, making it uh, very efficient when uh, driving in a very, very low drag. And uh, I did want to mention, I did get the windows, uh, I did get the windows tinted on this car. Another thing I did is I did tint the tail lights. Um, they're a fly eyes kit. Um, they're a tinting, a tail light and headlight tinting company um, in the UK. Um, they sell perforated wraps and I really recommend looking into them. Um, I'll go ahead and pop the link uh, somewhere on the screen for you guys, but it is called Fly Eyes Kit. So definitely look into that. And uh, just a quick walk around. I want you guys to look at the rear view. Um, really beautiful looking Mercedes compared to what they have on their product line right now. And I want to go ahead and finish up with a nice uh, side portrait view. I'm going to go ahead and zoom on out, get a full view of the car. And now we're going to go ahead and shift to the front of it. And uh, basically, I wanna, one thing I did want to mention is um, I did see that uh, Mercedes had posted that the miles per gallon for this car, I think it's about a 24 city and like 37 highway. Uh, that is not what I got. So I wanted to share that with you. Um, I do a lot of highway driving and my average of city and highway is about 24 miles per gallon. Um, just to give you some insight, when I'm in the highway, it's 
basically like 95% of the time I'm driving it in eco mode. Um, so the miles per gallon I got is a little bit less than what was reported when this car was first uh, released to the public. Um, overall, it handles really well, um, gets you know good handling for a front wheel drive car. Um, the 200 horsepower, 250 odd uh, some pound feet of torque, really nice and zippy around, uh, you know, driving around the city and in the highway. I never felt like I had a, I didn't have enough power when I was driving this car. Um, braking, the car stops on a dime, very light handling. Uh, the seats, the seats are very nice. Um, I know a lot of cars, if I sit in it too long, I'll get pain in my lower back. Um, with all the adjustments that come with the seat and how firm and padded they are, um, I never felt, um, you know, like I didn't have good support. And uh, with this car, um, I'm about six feet and about just over 230 pounds. I did feel a little bit too big for this car. Um, I feel like if you're any taller or any bigger than I am, you should not buy this car uh, just because it, the seating, I put the seat all the way down. I push it basically almost to the end of the back, as far back as it would go. And I'm not a really big guy. I, I feel like I'm pretty average um, height and everything. So if you're bigger than that, definitely uh, I would look into getting a bigger vehicle that Mercedes has to offer. Um, but overall, it's a great car. Seats five people relatively comfortably. Um, gets relatively good gas mileage. Honestly though, for a 2.0 turbo, I had a little bit higher expectations on the miles per gallon. Um, but overall, I give this car a great rating and uh, it's a good economy and great entry point for getting into Mercedes. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if there's anything more you'd like to see in future videos, please mention that in the comments below. And uh, I look forward to making more content for you guys. Thanks. Oh, 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 oh,